Hello everybody, it's Michael Perkins here again. Um, today we're going to touch on the slightly tricky and mysterious area of channels. Um, don't be afraid, channels are there to help us. Uh, they're wonderful ways to make selections and to store selections. Um, a lot of designers I know probably spend their whole lives working with Photoshop and never go into channels. Um, but there's no need for that, there's no need to be scared, channels are there, as I say, to help us. So let's begin, why do we want to use channels? Channels uh, store information regarding colour and it stores it in such a way as we can see with black and white values. So if, if we can see here, there's a very high amount of blue in this channel. There's some green in this channel and there's quite a lot of red in that channel as well. So the way we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection but we're going to use channels to help us make our selection. So if I was to try to select this sheep, um, I could uh, draw a path around them, I could use my magic wand, I might even think about using a colour range selection. But here's another way to think about I've got my four channels, or my three channels, I beg your pardon. I've got a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. And what I'm looking for is the channel with the most contrast. And that will help me allow to grab or make a nice clean selection. So I'm going to go through and look at my red channel. That has quite a bit of contrast in it. My green channel, not so much. And my blue channel, and I can immediately see that my blue channel has the most contrast. What I'm looking for, like a mask, is the darkest and the lightest areas to be that way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the channel that I wish to work on. So I'm going to create an extra channel. So I'm going to hold control down and I'm duplicating that channel. And it's a blue copy now. So I'm going to work on that channel. Okay, and there it is there. Now I am going to increase the contrast in this um, channel, this uh, alpha channel. So I'm going to do that by pressing Command L and that's accessing my levels panel. And I'm going to push my sliders around and see if I can't make this um, a darker, more solid black image. So as you can see, I'm getting some nice blacks and getting some nice whites. And there's a bit of a compromise to uh, doing this. You don't want to uh, create a hard edged or sharp, too sharp an image. It can you can end up with some hard edges. So I think that's somewhere about where I'm going to get. I think that's probably about the best as I'm going to get, I think. So a little bit more sliding. Yeah, so, so okay to that. Okay, so that's obviously, I've got some holes in my selection as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to get my brush tool and I'm going to brush out all of the white area that I want to get rid of. So I'm just physically going to go through and I'll do a nice quick job here and uh, painting away. And so it's, a, so it's a nice way to get a nice black image here. And I'm doing it rather quickly, but when you're doing it, take a little bit of time and I'm, I'm making quite a messy thing here, but I'm trying to get rid of the white areas on my sheep and uh, here we go there. So through there, and I'll just finish painting that up. Get his ear, and yep, that's pretty good. I've got a nice, nice black and a nice uh, white uh, image. So now I'm simply going to, once I have established my blacks and my whites, with my new channel selected or highlighted there. I'm going to press command on my keyboard and click that. And that's going to make a selection. That's going to make a selection from my channel. I've made a selection from the channel. Very nice thing to be able to do. So I'm going to come up here and turn my RGB back on. And I will come over to my layers panel. And I'm going to create a layer mask. Simply like that. That's, I'll invert my layer. I should have done that earlier. Now I'm going to make a uh, layer mask again. And there you go. I've created a selection from my channels. And uh, a very nice, very accurate 
Very smart way to make selections. Try that. Impress your friends. I hope you've enjoyed that and you found that useful. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.